Hey folks, welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube video. We are talking about the trick, the secret to how to set your retaining walls and block projects of any type perfectly level. Here we go. While I pose for my uh, rap album cover. It's Almond Landscape. So, hey folks, we're here. Uh, this is a, a small wall we built. If you saw the, the wall basics video we put out, small demonstration we built is one of the many things we built through the day talking about principles of construction in our in-person training class uh, in our online training resource all that crap whatever so this is something we built here so what I want to show you is the trick to getting these wall projects perfectly level in with a lot less effort and what it comes down to essentially is just like you screed out for pavers we screed out for our walls the same deal so based off of all your standard principles that you know you see in other videos of ours, Hardscape Academy, and then you know the NCMA, and all sorts of information out there from other great resources. Our subsoils compact, our base is in and compact, be it dense grade, open grade, whatever. This would be recessed and prescribed to our prescribed height, to whatever elevations we would be setting these walls normally. We're going to be taking ideally one inch black iron pipe. Uh, I'm sorry, three quarter inch, because it's, it's measured off the ID, three quarter inch, then the OD is one inch. You could use slightly bigger, maybe even slightly smaller if you wanted to. Bars to screed out your leveling pad. Now the whole thing, according to NCMA, National Concrete Masonry Association, they write the specs for retaining walls that uh, should be nationally followed, and it's a great resource, you might check that out. Um, the leveling pad is your all your base material again on top of compacted subsoils a geofabric again all your other principles are being uh, adhered to this is what we're doing so based off of whatever eleva elevations are set off the whole plan or the design or whatever we're going to be getting our base level really close and then we're going to set these things in here to be prescribed height so we would set these with lasers or whatever so what we're going to do is hopefully we're going to have our bedding material and again you can do this on open graded stone you can do this on um, clean stone whatever the case is dense grade open grade whatever these setting bars we're going to use this number nine stone uh, old Versalock specs would even say sand was acceptable but this number nine or number eight chip these nines are really nice to use number 89s are a combination of eight and nines limestone or uh, granite, whatever you've got in your area, but again, no dust, no nothing. It shouldn't compact in your hand. It just stays put, and it's angular, right? So what we would do is we're gonna bed these, bed these screed bars real quick, just like that, and either using a laser or a level, whatever, to tell us where all these things are at. So we would take and get this screed bar just like this. I'm gonna build this up, get it set real nice and level, have it bedded in there so it sits steady. And then I'm gonna take it, if it's bed in completely, we're gonna tap these into place like this and get this one perfectly level front to back because retaining walls have to be level front to back, no exception. And we're gonna set that till we get it perfectly level and for the girls I go with, that's pretty darn good. And we're going to get a longer level and you want to spread these as far apart as you have screeds for and so i have broken my own rule and i can't reach it so i'm gonna pull this guy over re-bed it and then we're going to set them level side to side and what this eliminates is the need to level block to block to block in other words that's that time consuming god awful process that if you've been in hardscaping any length of time you set one block down on your base beat it into submission pick it up, level it, and you do it block to block to block. It's the worst, it's terrible way to do it, but I, I know people, and I, I, I did it that way for years, and then we figured out the screening concept, and uh, it's a pretty good way. So we're reading, you know, not level on my fake Stabila here. So we're gonna take this, and we're gonna tap this down, getting it level. Okay, now I'm too low, but that's, e that's easier to fix than being too high, so when we can be too low it's easier to pick it up so we're gonna pick the bar up still got a ways to come up so you know our base in theory would not be 
perfect here and we want to have our base closer than that but we're not going to worry about it again having all our bedding materials and all that stuff right here real handy having all our work stuff up as close as we always can so now i'm going to kind of screen it off real quick and i'm going to pick this bar up and that's that's not too bad but it's still got to come up some so we're going to get that thing set man how high has this thing got to go golly but again i didn't set the i didn't set our base with a laser at all so there we are now we're sitting kind of high so we're going to tap this guy down until it sits level and sits firm because you got to screed over this and it's got to sit good and so now we're sitting pretty good and we're going to check the back side and we're going to just do this until we get to a point where everything is sitting real stable and secure and we're very happy with it I'm gonna pull this up again just a little bit. One more time. Pull some more bedding up around it. I'm gonna tap it to make sure it's the way we wanna see it and fully embed it. I'll throw some more lines around that. And we're gonna call that good just for the sake of, uh, of today's show, right? And so that's pretty good. So then we're just gonna take our nines. I'm gonna bed that some more. But we would take and fill this whole void. And we're gonna get we're gonna get that area pretty well filled. I'm gonna I'm gonna rob some fill here just to reuse it. Okay, but now we should be pretty good. And so now we're going to take, you know, you can use a level. You ought to ideally use a screed board for this. Or, and I'm talking an actual, like, magnesium or aluminum screed board kind of deal. Two by four, nothing like that. That's not going to, that's not true enough. That's not what we want. Do a rough screed. You can see we've got tons of voids there. Holy crap. Ideally, when you're screeding, you want to have somebody feeding you. And we want to get impurities out like that dirt right there want that out and you only want to screed out as much area as you can lay in a day because sure enough neighborhood cats the dogs clients dogs cats kids everything's going to get in here and cause a disaster so you only want to screed out what you can do that day so again just always making sure that we're sitting level we're not leaning down on them but we're just pulling across like I said, as wide and long as you can do this in your retaining wall, the better, because you get more done at one time. But look at this perfect screed bed, and we're good. And so we'll set this across here again, make sure we're perfect, front to back. If you have a laser or your zip level, you know, you can be checking this and doing all your bars down through that way too. Then it makes this whole situation awesome based off your string lines or, or whatever you got going on, and again, your tools super close and handy and we're going to dismantle this wall to get to what we need I'll pull the pins out of that thing and everything but now we've got this perfect bedding layer to set retaining wall block on nice and level nice and perfect we'll still double check it as we're building you know just to make sure everything's sitting perfect and all that and this is not setting perfect because we're rushing through it but that's not the idea right um we're gonna have to pull this guy out of here because the wall blocker we got our pins again for more on this if you want to learn how to build this the, the whole way we've got a two-hour course online theheartscapeacademy.com and it goes through all this in depth for two hours you can imagine right and if you're watching that i tell you just go through it slow and go by chapter by chapter and don't get sleepy as you can you know understand it and comprehend it and take notes all that kind of stuff so but you can see how you would get like an awesome perfect line across here and you're not taking each one of these beating the hell out of them block to block to block how long that would take you screed this out as fast as you can screed you can lay so this is totally the way to do it it is ncma and uh versa lock system approved uh i'm sure the Unilock Pisa system is, is in agreement with this, and it really is the way to go. So this quick little secret or trick or tip or whatever will make any of your wall projects really awesome, and we would be backfilling this, both sides embedded, you know, the whole bit 
for all that stuff. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, it has been a game changer for how we install retaining walls for a long time now. And, um, and you can employ this in any, in any kind of wall building process, little garden wall for Grandma Herfenerbler or a full size retaining wall, whatever, totally doable. So I hope it helps like and subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and uh, check out Key Contractor Podcast, blah, blah, blah. Folks, that's it. We'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you.